Hey there everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Play Code Vein. So first things first, I got the Blue Hounds equipped, so that's why I'm a little different looking right now. I also have a new, well not new, I just have a different weapon equipped. I can change that at will. This thing sucks. This thing rocks. So I'm gonna go take on this big boy. I don't know what in the world he is, nor what he's doing here. Looks a little terrifying. Holy oh, Jesus, he's huge. I didn't, oh, and he's fast. I did not realize he was that fast on top of everything else. Stop, my guy. See, the cool thing is, though, about this weapon is I hit hard as heck. Apparently, so does he. But he's dead. Awesome, so killing him got the area mapped out. Thank you. And I got a treasure chest. Queen Slayer Thorn. That's new. But yeah, the big guy that killed me earlier, yeah, I killed him with three hits with this thing. This thing's a bit obnoxious, but I love it. I also have leveled up a few times. Let me see. Can I change my blue hounds? So I have the claw. This is the thorn version. So it actually tells you what stats you're going to gain and which ones you're going to lose based on what you have equipped. So I can increase stats, increase weight, which is... I think think the thing that's going to affect what kind of weapon you have so it this stuff will definitely be important later on so the queen slayer thorn and claw are good all-arounders but they do also affect your scaling when you start leveling as far as i could tell so i'm just going to keep going deeper into the cave i could tell you're alive oh i lied I was very wrong. Apparently, it's this guy. Are you a fellow explorer? It appears you're alone. I'm on my own at the moment too. I was hoping for a partner for the path ahead. What do you say? Would you mind working together, at least until we're through here? That'd be perfect, actually. Don't worry. I'm not gonna stab you in the back. And my asthma and the lost here are enough trouble as it is. Thanks a lot. I'm glad to work with you. You have a bomb ass sword my guy also the fact that you're like oh don't worry I'm not gonna stab you in the back leads me to assume you're gonna stab me in the back the ladder here let's keep our eyes open all right uh -huh, I see what are you butt lords bring it on boy you missed and goodbye Oh, it's the big, big boy. Oh, there's a lot of you. Oh, Lord, there's two of you. Oh, that's very bad. Alright, we gotta kill one of you first. Ow, and the rangers. Ow, 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 Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Come over here. Stop, that's not fair. Not fair. Oh god. No, come on. Live. Live. Please. Oh my god. Oh, that was a big old waste. Back with us? Yeah, I'm back. Uh, that was not even remotely fun. Hmm. Hold on. What am I gonna do against that? Cause that that was just a we bit. Need a new plan. Yeah, we may need a new plan. No duh. These guys are a lot to handle like that. All right, let me let me, let me change this. Maybe if I use. Take care of whatever's concerning you. What? I did not even pay attention to what you said. But if I use this and start fighting from range. I can do that, I guess. That's gonna use part of my I-Core though, which is a problem. Can I actually even hit you from range? Eh. Possibly. Probably not. Oh, I did not. <sighs> okay, this is gonna be big, big beds. Big beds, big bed time. It's cool as you can do that if you're overhead. 
flop on somebody. Pick up my haze, thank you. Glad that's recovered. You had another lost shard. What if I run up those stairs? To regeneration level, all right. The problem is there's too many of those big buys and the rangers on top of everything else to deal with all at once. So I need to figure out a way to draw them away from there. Comes one. Which is fine. It's just the one that can be managed. Not. What is this? Okay, this is the Queen Iron. No more healing? Just don't push yourself too hard. Yeah, that's a problem, buddy. Still got another one of those big assholes to go. Come here. Draw him to me, draw him to me. There you go. Ow. Alright, he's down. BS. Eggs. This is two. I don't know what that move did. It did a thing. Climb, 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 climb. Stop, 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 stop. I don't know how I regen, but I did. Oh my goodness, that was way too close. Oh lordy. Now we're just gonna pretend that battle never happened and leave. Oh, hey. Please tell me that can heal me. If we were this close to the thing that I needed to to get through the end of this dungeon, I'm going to be very upset with myself. Blood has special properties and can activate a dried up blood spring. Once revived, the blood spring will start producing blood beads. These blood beads have the same composition of human blood. They've been using them to quench their thirst. Could that really be? Okay. Is that it? Is that the end of the dungeon? Please? Oh yes, a missile. Dining area map. Yes. Allow me to rest, please. Now I could level up some more. Hmm. So this is how the level up system works, by the way. It's based off of the haze that you get. So if you have any uh, let me see withdraw. Oh, I have no space to withdraw it. Aha, okay. 
cause your body not consume, but all haste will be lost. Hmm. I know what any of these do. Those items cannot be sent to storage. Interesting. Use its temporary marker, grab a foe's attention. Put all five in storage, so I'm not gonna use those. Not right now, anyway. And these are just good for marking places. That's your... But I can't use those? Oh, it's because I have these? Hmm. Interesting. But yeah, um, use your haze to actually get gifts. Like this, blood guard. Or focus stamina usage. I don't know if you can level these up, though. I think you just get new abilities. So let's go ahead and use... Plus 560 for each, so... Go and learn both. Thank you. Once you become fully proficient with a gift, you unlock the ability to inherit it. Okay. What about this? Okay. You can use haze and certain materials to max out your proficiency with gifts, unlocking the ability to inherit them. Doing so enables you to use them even with a different blood code equipped. Alright, so I need Awaken MJ018 and 280 Haze to inherit it. Or this one. Okay. So these are the next gifts that I need to get from the Ranger Tree. Okay. And then these are from the Magic Tree. Alright, I like this. I'll Could you do more research. On the details later? It's strange to see a cave connected to a building. It is very strange. Thinking about it. It's open. That's quite valuable. Let's use it well. Ooh. Is that the sword you got, my guy? That's the sword I want. Ooh, yet another item. Oh, sweet mercy. It's you. And you're dead. I hate that. I hate that thing so much. You just take that. And that. I'm vastly stronger than you right now. Where's our boy? Another I-Core Concentrate. I can either go... Oh, okay. Aha! Ooh, another one. Awaken. Michael Jackson, 18. Oh, God. That's wrong. Wait. Ooh. Ooh. Catch that triple slam, boy. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. And you're dead. That's fine. This lake was formed from a hole created by a thorn of judgment. The clean iron and a lost shard. So let me use the regen real quick. Use my lost shard. I see y'all up there. Come on down. And you're dead. Very clean execution. Now, one thing I did accidentally bump into, and I'm not sure how I did it, is not with the bayonet. Actually, wait. Let me change on my bayonet for the sword. Yeah. Oh, it's like a bootleg version of your sword. Man. I do like it though. What's this? And this is why I'm the main character and you're not. Can I take that axe off of you, my guy? 
I don't think you're gonna use it. Um, what is this? Oh, it's a missile. Let's purify it. Another one. Pop that. That's fine. Did we miss anything? Uh, yeah, we're missing our friend. We need to go back in there to get him. Can I go back to get him? Good. That's light from the surface. All right, so we're out of the dungeon. What? Is that our buddy? Once someone is lost, they can never come back. Dang it. Cast aside your dad. Look at that anime ass pose. Let's go. Sorry, my guy. So we gotta kill you now. Really hoping we wouldn't have to. Oh well. Oliver Collins. Holy crap, we get your whole name. Ow. I mean, we might have already gotten it before, but... Hey, Ali. I need you to chill, my guy. Ooh. Uh-uh. Oh! Jesus Christ, Ali. Nope, definitely not saving any right now. I don't know what the oh. Holy Ali. Oh god. Oh god. Oh gosh. Am I dead? No, I'm not. Yeah, avoid getting hit again, he says. Uh. Uh. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. <clears throat> Ollie, 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 I need you to chill. Ah, oh, hell. And I'm out. Uh, uh, Ollie is way too strong for that. You're back. Yeah, no duh, I'm back. Holy Jesus, Oliver hurts. We can do this. I know it. Oh, I completely missed. Oh god. Okay, so that combo takes place right in front of me. Is down.
Whew, I have mastered Bloodguard. Oh man, poor Oliver. That sucks. Barely knew you, man. She's all right. You just try to help me. By the way, both of you, all revenants must pay a levy. There are no exceptions. A vestige. Best to stay away from those stones. Anyone who touches them is defiled, transformed into the lost. Don't listen to their whispers. Someone has to be sacrificed. Without blood beads, we won't make it. Once she's settled down, let's get out of here. Alright, so something's going on with my guy that he's listening to the voices. Has to be sacrificed. Can I pick it up? Ooh, so I can. Wait, what are you. Oh, is this a bad idea? Let go! It'll swallow you up! It's alright. You can do it. Okay, maybe that was a good idea. Okay, I'm here with no weapons, so I'm assuming there's no fighting here. I can only walk. Please, let us keep them just this once. We won't make it if you take them. All revenants must pay a levy of blood beads. There are no exceptions. Sorry. Sorry. Daddy! Mommy! Someone has to be sacrificed. Without blood beads, we won't make it. Wait. These are his memories. Few humans that remain are under Silva's control. Wandering revenants like us, forced to hunt for blood beads, will face death. Even if some revenants must be sacrificed for our survival. Well, I guess you reap what you sow, right? That's all right. What's important is that at least one of us makes it. This is a memory echo. It's a place where lost recollections still wander. Come, let's move on. If you... This... Okay, so if I walk away, I can't hear you anymore. It's a place where lost recollections still wander. Come, let's move on. If you use that stairway, I believe it should take us back to the world outside this memory. Let's check out this guy. What does he have to say? Is this the past of one of the lost? No, there's no way. Yeah, buddy, that's exactly what just happened. That was... Oliver's memories. Death as a revenant. Revenants who face fatal damage disperse into mist and can revive later. However, if the parasite in their heart has been destroyed, they turn to ash forever. For a revenant, this is true death. So if the parasite in their heart is destroyed, they turn to ash. Interesting. What the hell was that? It was a memory carved into that vestige. 
by the one who left it behind. I didn't expect that I'd get dragged into it, too. We both melted into you. I can't believe this. What a power. Come with me. I know a spot where we can rest. Please, because I, I need to chill. I'm Louie. I'm researching blood beads. Hey, Louie's a scientist. Respect, my boy. Nice to meet you. All right, so we're stuck in a post-apocalyptic future, you know. Blood is vital. Kind of the cure-all for everything. This ain't no Dr. Stone. This is Dr. Blood now. <laughs> Berserker Vestige Core. Code owner, Oliver Collins. Features high strength and endurance. Its low acre stock can be offset with heavy armor. Oh, so that's just a flat-out new blood code. Gift Accelerator. Small, regular... Relatively regular looking drug, it activates blood flow, temporarily reducing the time to use blood gifts. Using gifts requires high concentration, and users are often hit by attacks while preparing them. Many trials are performed with the hope of protecting revenants in battle. Interesting. Ugly, isn't it? The Red Mist showed up a short time after the Queen was defeated. There's a Queen? And when it did, it trapped everyone and everything inside, giving birth to the Society of Revenants ruled by Silva. The Jail of the Mists. As time passed, that was the name people gave to the world inside. The creatures trapped inside the miasma wander in a never- ending cycle of death and rebirth always searching for blood beads to sustain them revenants need to have blood without it they turn into those creatures we call the lost the revenants who captured you were desperately searching for blood terrified of losing themselves it's a common fate these days but ripples are beginning to form. You cleared the miasma and revitalized the blood spring. Where did you learn to do that? You've forgotten? <laughs> Anything you do remember? That's unusual. I'm losing so much of your memory. I suppose it was the same for her. For now, just take it easy. Make yourself at home. All right. This is pretty cool, though. Ooh, a home base. I'm liking it. I'm liking this outfit, though. This just looks pretty legit. But we're going to leave this episode off here, guys. I think that's a good place to leave off. We made it to the home base. We defeated the dungeon, you know. We had to put Ollie to rest, but Ollie's in a better place now as a blood code. Other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time on Let's Play Code Vein. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. And join the Curly Crew. That way, whenever I drop a brand new episode, you guys are already up to date. So, this is the Afrolad signing out, and I will catch you all here next time. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.